Dr. Lou. Talked to eyewitnesses. Dr. Lou. Carefully investigated. Dr. Lou. Everything from the beginning. Dr. Lou. And wrote it all down. Dr. Lou. So you, dear friends. Dr. Lou. May know for sure. Dr. Lou. The absolute certainty. Here's this week's clue, boys and girls. It's a sheep. I am really missing people at the moment. Won't it be great when we can have our friends over to our houses again? Who would you invite for dinner first? Granny, your fun uncle, your best friend, your whole family. In Luke chapter 15, the Pharisees were shocked to see that Jesus' chosen dinner guests were sinners. People who were bad, people who were hated. The kind of people that when you see them coming, you cross to the other side of the street. Not the people that you have over for dinner. Philip the Pharisee, you look very angry. Why? This man, Jesus, welcomes sinners and eats with them. Disgusting! Unclean! Oh! Jesus saw them muttering to each other. So in front of both sinner and Pharisee, Jesus tells this story. Imagine you have a hundred sheep. You really love your sheep. You're looking after them, but as you start to count them, you realise one is missing. One, two, three... Ninety-seven? Ninety-eight? 99? Oh no! One sheep is missing! Of course you leave the other 99 sheep and go searching for the sheep that you have lost. You risk being attacked by wolves or losing all the other sheep because the thought of losing one of your precious sheep that you love so much is too awful to think about. When at last you do find the sheep, you put it on your shoulders and carry it home, singing for joy. And when you get home, you throw a massive party for all your friends and neighbours because your precious sheep is home. Jesus is the good shepherd. He would never think, oh well, I have 99 lovely sheep. Doesn't really matter if I'm missing one. Or it's far too dangerous for me to go looking for my sheep. No, each sheep is so precious to him that he goes and searches and finds the lost one and brings it home. In this story, we are like sheep. No, we don't eat grass and we're not white and fluffy. We need looking after by our shepherd. But we can easily wander off and do our own thing and get ourselves in trouble. We are sinful and need rescuing. We think we know best but then end up getting ourselves lost, far away from Jesus. But like the Good Shepherd, Jesus loves us so much, even though we wander off, he will come and find us. Jesus came from heaven to earth to die on a cross to save you and me. Jesus puts us on his shoulders and carries us home. Wow, that's amazing. And wonderfully, Jesus came for everyone. Even that kid at school who can be really mean sometimes. No one is beyond Jesus' reach. And when we believe in Jesus, there is a massive party in heaven. Fireworks, balloons, bands, streamers, a great big cake. That is how precious you are to God. And if we're following Jesus, we want to be like him, to spend our time with the lost, those who other people don't want to be friends with, and to share the good news with them. Think of someone you could pray for this week, that they would know how precious they are and that Jesus has come to find them. Good morning, my name is Jennifer. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, Thank you that you love sinners like us. Forgive us for wandering away from you and going our own way. 
Thank you that you are a good shepherd who comes to find us and bring us home. Help us to pray for our neighbors, classmates, and family so that they would know how precious and loved they are by you. Amen. Listen 